Yo guys, Spiderbite here. I've got the awesomest strategy. Four player, three player, you could probably do a three player. Four player works best. A strategy for possibly getting to high rounds on zombies, I don't know, but it's pretty epic. We got three trample steams set up right in front of us. That's where the majority of the zombies are coming. And then we got this window, so you know what? I'm going to put my trample steam down right here, right in front of the window, so any zombies that come through the window are just going to get flung over our heads. And I kind of, man, see, I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist sometimes. This is not centered. This thing is not centered. I'm, like, so disappointed. You know what? I'm taking it. I'm picking it back up, and I'm going to center this thing. And this is the last zombie in round 12, and we're going to see what happens on round 13. But this guy, watch this guy when he comes through the window. Come on, zombie. Get off. Man, kill it. Get off. Oh, my God. This is so funny. All right. Here we go. Yeah! All right. Cool. Okay. So that's that's the last zombie on round 13. Or on round 12. Round 12? Yeah. Sorry. Let's see what happens round 13. I think we got too much separation here. And you'll see, if you make it tighter and actually if you stand closer to the left, let's say, and you make it tighter to the left, then the zombies won't come so far right and you won't have to put as many you know, as big a gaps in between the, the three trample steams. I'm just waiting for the zombie to come through. And look at this. You don't have to have to shoot a bullet. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. I mean, you don't get any points, but still. But still. And now, at times, if you get multiple zombies at the same time on the same st uh, trample steam, then the second one will tend to hit at it while it resets. It doesn't reset instantaneously. And see what I mean by that gap? We had that, that gap with a, that zombie come through. I think, again, if we had a little tighter formation with the trample steams and the four of us, we would totally avoid that. But it gets rid of most of the zombies. I mean, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, we And then we were just we were doing this, and, and watch what happens. Um... We end up losing it because it, th these trample teams can only take so much damage, right? So that's where you may consider, even if you're running four players, have one guy at the window and have an extra player, you know, have one, one of the four players that has an extra trample steam. So you have three down, you don't have the one at the window. And if one breaks like that, then the fourth player just puts his down and, and look what happened to us. Ah, disconnected from Xbox Live. Come on, we were going to round 100 with that strategy, Vonderhaar. You had to screw us over and kick us off the servers to fix your patch and the DLC. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, I thought that was pretty epic. What do you guys think? A pretty cool four-player strategy. And I'm sure you can find a, a narrow corridor to do it with less players. I'm spider and I'm out.